Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and uh, Aquarius Rising. Weekly tarot reading, April, excuse me guys, April 22nd to April 28th, 2019. And as soon as I'm done with the shuffling, we're going to go directly to the uh, to the reading. By the way, let me know, guys, into the comments down below, how do you prefer it to shuffle in front of camera or... Uh, to pre-shuffle the deck and not waste that time and go directly to the spread. Let me know how do you want these readings to be delivered. So that being said, uh, the first card for Aquarius, which is marking the topic of their week, that is going to be the Eight of uh, Wands, followed by the second card, which is uh, the challenges that Aquarius needs to face throughout this week, that is going to be the uh, Ten of Cups. After that, what we do have, it is the positivity in this week. We do have the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> and finally, that is going to be the next card, which is the Guidance for Aquarius is here. That is going to be the Wheel of Fortune. So once again, we do have the uh, Eight of uh, Wands, followed by the Ten of Cups. After that, what we do have, this is going to be the um, Ten of Swords. And finally... That will be the number 10 major arcana, which is the Wheel of Fortune. So, um, as we do have three tens, um, I will talk about a little bit of from numerology standpoint. So, 10 is broke down to 1, which 1 means, you know, initiation, new beginning, and so on and so forth. But because it comes from the 10 here specifically, and not from the 1, which is Ace, you know, and the Magician, and so on and so forth, the 0 represents difficulties, in a sense of that, you know, it's like a magic circle. So, when the 1 is formed from 10, it means breaking through that all right so and what is that these cards as well were pointing is that you are uh, aquarius is going to um how can i place it truly amaze uh with uh, your intelligence uh with your brilliancy as well and how you can capitalize on such kind of an opportunities that no one else so a uh, benefits from so uh, the first card that we do have for you guys, that is going to be the very topic, Eight of Wands. So Eight of Wands does preach for numerous opportunities that comes around and goes around, meaning that they come by with the flow and if not seized, they just fly by and goes with the flow as well. But when it comes to the Eight of Wands, this is a high risk, high reward kind of card. And one should approach those opportunities with clear headed vision, meaning you truly know what you want to achieve and you truly know what you want for yourself. Because if you take the wrong opportunity here, you are um, risking to deprive yourself from everything that you already worked for. Straight away on an example, you worked, you are working over an important project into your career. So you do have numerous opportunity coming around, being an opportunity to stir that project even f further or to take a participation into another project. So you take an, a, a participation into another project, you are abandoning the previous one, which you already made a good pro um, 
a, a good progress ad for good. So that's why you have to approach those kind of varieties which are coming around for you, um, Aquarius, with clear headed vision of what you want to achieve in general. Uh, this card also points to um, brilliant mind. So you are truly going to surprise people with your actions, with your strategies, with what your maneuvers in general. And uh, pretty much you're going to catch people off guard <clears throat> and take an edge, advantage, upper hand in a competition should you are uh, participating in such. Uh, the accompanied card that is going to be the six of swords so we do have a formation of active uh, active friends and the six of swords it does point that is going to be quite of a, a challenging move here that you need to do i mean you are going to sit on a, a threshold being ready to traverse into a new era to conquer new shores um in your life or to expand a current uh current situation beyond your expectations, even beyond your expectations. Now, like I said, that thing will involve you doing something out of character and that will scare you, that may petrify you, while in reality here, there is nothing for you to be afraid of. I mean, it's, it's better to do something rather than to do nothing. And this uh, thing that you are going to surprise with as a, a performance or as a, a decision that you're going to make and so on and so forth is going to be a, a product of your brilliant mind here. As I said, approaching these, um, these options that are coming in your way with clear headed vision. <clears throat> So what we do have for you, Aquarius, is, is that it, it seems that you are going to have on a platter throughout this week the means necessary for you to truly start your life, either relationship-wise or career-wise, and you have to use them wisely. Although, I mean, you all have a great power on your behalf, and you have to use that power, once again, uh, wisely. So the challenge, however, it is very unusual challenge that we do have for you. That is going to be the Ten of Cups. And uh, I was really surprised to see this card as a follow-up here because the Ten of Cups um, as a challenge represents that you may not want to make any progress because you're feeling comfortable enough into your current place, all right? Here, the, the Ten of Cups represents that kind of a human nature of, or that side of a human nature that regardless of how much one has and how fulfilled one uh, is um, feeling at that current moment, one should stray for more. I mean, one should always seek improvement. I mean, your marriage could be awesome, you know, it could be fantastic, but you need to seek improvement here. You should not keep it into the current stage, or rather like you should seek a, a better stage. Same goes regarding your... Um, your career. Uh, that being said, with the Ten of uh, Cups uh, in a challenging position, it means that you need to give a reason and meaning to that progress which you are gonna which you are gonna do. I mean, you should not do it for the progress itself. You know, just so you have something to do, but there should be also a an end goal, a grand scheme, a grand achievement, or something for you to look forward to. The additional card that is going to be the Ten of Cups, and here it seems that it will be more of a hassle to you, or it seems that it's gonna be more of a hassle to you. So uh, this is how the situation is going to develop, guys, with these cards, is that you are to see that there are way too many things that has to be taken under consideration here, and way too many things that needs to be attended to a point where you may start thinking about, well, really, is it really worth it, you know, to take advantage of these opportunities coming in my way and do so much to get so little, little, seemingly, you know, so little. Well, yeah, it does worth it. Uh, the whole thing why you are thinking that way, it is because whatever it is manifesting through the Eight of Wands as an opportunity for you, it's manifesting in this field of your life that you are feeling most successful at, okay? And uh, maybe you are going to be apprehensive uh, jeopardizing your current success by taking uh, those um, those opportunities. Like I said, eight of uh, wands is a high risk, high reward kind of card. But with the six of swords there as in an active supporter, as an active friend, excuse me, the um, the risk is taken away. There is nothing for you to risk off. It's just you need to um, overcome, you know, that fear of seemingly you're risking something and just, you know, close your eyes 
and trespass the boundaries that you already set in front of yourself. Here we are seeing how you break the boundaries that you set for yourself, expanding your li limits, moving on forward, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, which is the good thing with the Ten of Swords because that is what the card points that you um, will be able to uh, to break that is literally what I mean you are going to truly break and destroy your current limits now that will happen rather in a violent fashion here with the ten of swords and the good prospect for the ten of swords is that a brand new era is awaiting you should you be ready to make those or willing to make those irreversible actions and irrevocable decisions at your behalf and additionally to that the ten of swords it does point that you are to slay the beast within I, that is a, a very uh, kind of like a uh, over exaggerated, not over exaggerated, but superficial statement. In this case, the Ten of Swords, when you are ready to slay the beast within, it means that you are to uh, abandon a very noxious and unhealthy habits of at your behalf, and from there you may start leading more healthier life, you know, or maintaining more healthier relationships as well or in generally go at work and do productive things in a more healthy healthy manner in case in um in a way that you don't stress yourself to the outer limits the accompanied card that is going to be the page of swords here so you are going to discern the reality uh, from other fiction, recognizing that now is the time to make even further progress in your life and now is the time to think originally and to set up goals for yourself that you couldn't even dream previously or you didn't or the, you you haven't thought that they are rather possible a quick example of that let's say that you are dating with this girl or with that guy doesn't really matter with this person you know and you thought until this very moment that that is just for the i'm sorry for the term here but for the shits and giggles you know that nothing serious is gonna come out of it and suddenly throughout this week you are starting to realize that that is just as serious as it can get now and, and you are at the verge of that you have to try past that boundary and think about maybe engagement you know start living together and so on and so forth and in reality that that relationship is not jeopardized you know it only can improve from now on and the guidance that you do that we do have for you Aquarius is that is going to be the wheel of fortune and that card speaks for itself you gotta take this opportunity guys the wheel of fortune as a guidance points that your things are gonna be stirred um, <clears throat> You are to find yourself in a very amazing place where you are going to be liberated and free, you know, to take the maximum out of life. We of Fortune tells you as a guidance that that is your chance here. That is your once in a lifetime opportunity. It doesn't get any better than this. And uh, yeah, I mean, you, you, you got to take it. It is simply as that. I can't stretch that car even further as a follower because it does speak for itself and it points that this is your moment here, right? That is your moment to shine and you gotta do what is needed here to shine out, even if it kind of feels that it's gonna be an overkill, because it's how it's gonna seem. Additionally to that, we do have the uh, strength card here, which uh, as a shade, first of all, it points that these cards are uh, active supporters, and it means that the more uh, you take advantage of this once in a lifetime opportunities, opportunity, excuse me, once in a lifetime option for you to expand your limits, to expand your life, you know, and to make your life in generally better, the more you enthusiastic you will become and the more you will realize that that was it, you know, this is the jackpot you hit because that week is going to be about a jackpot. Not necessarily a lottery one, you know, not necessarily the one where you're going to become a millionaire, but it's going to be the one thing here, guys, that uh, you do not want to live without, all right? So be aware and uh, take it. No matter how meaningless it could seem at the start, it's going to have a huge repercussion on your life. So uh, that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading Aquarius for um, April 22nd to April 28th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.